Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Cucumber Tutorial Series. So today in this video, we are going to see about what is scenario outline and where we can use the scenario outline. So scenario outline is one of the gurgling keywords that we have seen earlier. So in our last video, we have seen how to create the feature files and step definitions everything. So this keyword, right? So we have, I mean, multiple keywords. So in the gurgling, uh, you can see this is one of the keywords that is scenario outline. Okay, this is what we are going to discuss today. So what is scenario outline? Scenario outline is a keyword can be used for to run the same scenario with the multiple times with a different combination of data. Okay, so data or values. Okay, that is what the scenario outline. So either you can use a scenario template or you can use it as a scenario outline. Okay, so here is an example, the TDS method that we write a feature file with the scenario. So you can see both scenarios are same. Okay, so here I eat five out of 12. Here also I eat five out of 20. If you see the steps now, it is it is similar to same. Only the number is getting changed, right? By using the scenario outline, we can we can collapse this two feature file into the sorry two two scenarios into the one scenario by using the scenario outline with the template of providing the keywords in the delimited parameters. Okay, so here you can see they have made this number to the parameter as a star, and here also you can see this number five and they have made made as a eat as a parameter. Okay. And here also you can see the left as uh, they have converted as a parameter as a left and they provided the examples. Okay, the examples. Uh, so in our normal, the tedious uh, scenarios, you have to use the scenario as a only scenario. Okay, the scenario name. But when you want to use the outline uh, with the examples, so you have to provide as a scenario outline and followed by the examples. Okay, so these are the rules that we have to follow when we go for a scenario outline. So the usage of the scenario outline use cases, for example, you have a, a login scenario. You have to test login for uh, 20, 20 uh, username password that is given to you. So what you can write in the functionality of the login is going to be the same. So you will launch the application, you will uh, enter the username and you will type the password and you will click on the login button or click button. So this is going to be the same. The data is that we are going to send is different, different data, right? So instead of writing multiple scenarios for the same use case, so you can avoid that by using the scenario outline or scenario template. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So in our use case, so in the last video, we have seen how to do the Google search with a with, with given the keyword like a cheese or cucumber BDD. Correct. This is what we have done. So now we are going to convert this. Both scenarios are same. It is going to launch the uh, Google page and it is going to type some keyword and we are going to check the title is coming as expected or not. So now I'm going to convert this as a cucumber scenario, uh, scenario outline or scenario template. Okay. So just type the keyword like a scenario and you can see the scenario outline is coming. I'm selecting this. So I'm going to give the same name uh, with modified. Okay. Find cucumber Google examples with examples. Okay. This is a changes I'm making here. So I'm, I'm just going to copy the same steps that we have provided in the previous scenario. Okay, so only change, I'm going to make this as a parameter. Okay, this is a keyword. I'm going to type it here as keyword. And here also, I'm, I, want, I mean, I'm going to check the same keyword is coming in the title or not. Okay, that's it. So since we have made this a scenario outline, it is, it is mandatory you have to send the examples. So examples is nothing the data that we want to send. For example, if you want to provide the different username password that we have to send. So make sure the header name, right? It, it should match with your keywords. So here also you can see. Um, okay, so it must contain, I mean, examples must contain one or more examples. So for example, you cannot, when you use it as a scenario outline, so you have to provide the one or multiple examples. Okay, so if you don't provide the example, then the scenario will not exist. Okay. And the steps that you can use with the delimited parameter reference, uh, the header in the example tape. So the, the header, right? So here we are giving the parameter name as a start. The header also should be the same. Okay, so that is what I have given is the parameter set keyword and the header is also same. And I'm going to give some keywords like a first iteration. I want to run it for the keyword like a selenium. I want to do the Google search. The next one, like I want to send it like a placement. So now I'm going to comment out the two scenarios. So if you want to do the comment out, just do the select everything, all the scenarios that you want to comment, control slash on the Windows machine. Okay. So now just right click and go for a pretty format. So now you can see it is in the pretty format. Now. I mean, it will it will format your picture file. That's it. 
pitch. So now also you can see when I click on the control pitch, it is it is navigating to the relative step pitch. I mean uh, steps on the right side. Okay, if I do the control click here, you can see it is just uh, navigating to the respective uh, step that we have already written in the previous video. Okay. So this is done. Uh, now what we can do, we can run this. Let's see, it is going to NCO two times. The first time the keywords would be Selenium and the second time the keywords would be Postman. Okay. You can run it from the test runner also uh, or you can run it from the feature file also. Right click, run as Cucumber feature. Okay, the first time it should enter as a keyword as a Selenium. Okay, it got entered. So the next one, uh, it has to type as a postman in the Google search. Okay, so now I can go to my uh, console. So there are no errors. So this is something related to connection error. This is not a problem. Okay, so my two feature files are working fine. So now, let let make this uh, console uh, this validation title validation right so i want to make sure the title is coming as what i have expected okay so this is what coming uh, here i'm going to uh, make the assert statement assert dot assert equals okay so here it is was my title is coming so driver dot get title method and here I'm going to do the assertion. Uh, so here it is coming as a Selenium uh, space, a hyphen space, Google search, right? So this is what the keyword is coming. Anyway, this the keyword is that that's, I'm mean, getting from my, my feature file, right? So this is a keyword that is going to come as a Selenium here. So I'm going to use this parameter here. After this, I want to append this value that is coming from the screen, which is from the, coming from the get title. Okay, so I'm going to open this. Okay, so now it has to come like this. So keyword with my Selenium space hyphen space Google search. Okay, I think this method is deprecated. So that's the reason this, it is, I mean, uh, we have a strike four on the text. That's okay, no problem. So let's run this. Okay, this time I'm going to run it from the test under. Okay, first time it got entered as a linear. Second one for postman. Okay, so now if I go to the JNIT, the window here under, you can see this is what our feature name, which we have run for the Google search user feature name. And you can see it got executed for the two times. Okay, this is the one. So we have commented on these two scenarios. It is running for the find cucumber on Google search with the examples. You can see number one and number one, two. So number one uh, with our keyword called Selenium and the number two with the postman. Okay. And our assertion also working fine. So for example, if I do make some search, for example, if I delete this Google and if I run this runner class, now we can see the assertion will be getting failed. Okay, now we can see that the execution is done. Okay, now if I go to the JNU runner, you can see the first one, it, it got the assertion failure here. You can see it is expected was uh, Selenium Google search, but it was like a only Selenium search is coming because we have deleted the keyword called Google here. Okay, so this is what the assertion statement. You can do the assertion in the only in the step definition. Okay, so now uh, we have seen about this, uh, the scenario outline, right? So either you can use it as a scenario outline or you can use it as a scenario template also fine, okay? Similarly for the template keyword also. So instead of examples, uh, you can use it as a scenarios also, okay? So now let's make the changes. Instead of outline, I'm going to make it as scenario template. Okay, so here I'm going to make this Instead of examples, I'm going to make it as a scenarios. Okay, 
So now let's see this one also working fine. So I'm going to use the same test runner. I have changed this assessment to be pass. I mean, I have uh, just a restore. Yeah, so now let's go to the JNU. You can see this is also working fine. Okay, so you either you can use it as a scenario outline or you can use it as a scenario template. Here you can use it as a keyword, I mean examples, otherwise you can use it as a scenario is also fine. Okay, so now I'm going to uncomment this first two scenarios and I'm going to run everything. So now in the same feature file, I have a totally three scenarios. All the three scenarios have the same step implementation. So you can see if I do this click on here, you can see it is navigating to the the right side of the, I mean, the respective step terminations, right? So all the step terminations are same. I have kept in the same class file. Now I'm going to write, I mean, uh, run it from the test runner. So now totally we have uh, one, two, three scenarios, right? So let's set the uh, console. What is the outcome is coming? So first time it's going to type as a cheese. Second time it should type as a Selenium VDD, sorry, Cucumber VDD. It has to type as a Selenium keyword. This is running from the scenario outline. So now if I go to the JUnit here, and here you can see, so totally it got executed all the three scenarios, but here you can see it got executed two iterations because of we are using the scenario template here. Okay, scenario outline we are using. That's the reason it got executed two times. And we got some alien which is uh, which is expected one. So here it is coming as a Google search. The Cucumber BDD keyword is not passed here, I think. Okay, so that's the reason it, it got failed over here. So remaining test cases are working fine. Okay, so here it is coming as a Cucumber BDD hyphen Google search. So only the Cucumber is getting passed here. Here, right? So I want to make the same keyword what I'm selling it here. Okay, so this time it should get passed. So let me run again. So this is how we have to make the assessment. Uh, either you can use a JNUT assessment or you can use the test ng assessment. Anything is fine. So this is the last iteration that is running from the scenario outline. Yeah, this one also fine. So now let's go here. Yeah, now we can see there are no failures. So we have corrected this assets and keywords by using the Cucumber PDD. So everything is working fine. So this is how we have to make the scenario template. Again, this is also called data driven in the Cucumber. Okay, so likewise, you can send multiple keywords. For example, uh, instead of keyword here, let me make it as a keyword one here. Okay, so this is what I have to send it here. So here also you can send like this. So multiple keywords also you can send one by one. So here also I'm going to send it as a Selenium. And here also Postman. Okay. So now let's do comment out the, the above two scenarios. Okay, now the keyword I have changed. So this is a keyword and this is a keyword one. So now I'm going to run this. Let's run it from the 
say in your terminal. So likewise, you can send multiple keywords uh, in the scenarios or examples you can use. Yeah, this is also working fine. So not only string, so here we are sending as a string value as a keyword. So you can send it as a, okay. So you can send it as a uh, integer value also. Okay, so anything is fine. Okay, I think why this is again coming as a post scenario. So we are not running this one. Let me save and run one more time from the test panel. I think there are some catch issues coming. Let's see this time. Because we were running only this, uh, only one scenario template, but the results were shown for the above scenarios as well. So that's why I'm running it again. Let's see. So first time Selenium, second time should be Postman. Let's see now. Now let's go to the JNU. Yeah, now it is coming only two, right? So this is the only scenario that is getting executed two times. That's the reason it's coming here. The last time I I think it was a catch issue. That is the reason we are, we are seeing that the test the scenario is also coming in the JNU results. Okay. So that's all about with this video. Uh, this is where we have to use the scenario outline with the examples or scenario template with the scenarios. Okay. So we'll see the another topic uh, in the upcoming videos. Thank you guys.